Good evening, fellow printer dweebs. You're very welcome to another community news here at 3D Jake. All the stories from the community and what's going on with us too. I'm joining you from the 3D Jake office here in Graz in Southern Austria. Here's what's going on in 3D printing right now. So first up is what is new in the shop and drum roll, please. We now have Protopasta's full range of filament, which I am very excited about. 99 new filaments from the American brand, and I'm currently trying out their iron composite PLA. It is currently sitting in a bath of hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt uh, to give it a tasty patina. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, lots of new PLA, PETG, and obviously metal fill. We also got some new additions to Color Fab's Vario Shore. This is a TPU with a variable shore hardness depending on the settings. So you can choose whether you want a soft or a harder TPU. Very useful. Resin wise, we got some new colors from Frozen with their macaroon yellow, purple, and green. I love that we're now getting a lot more colors for resin. I am pretty sick of light gray. Printer wise, we have the Adventure 5M from Flashforge, the Sonic Mighty Revo from Frozen, and the Ender 3 V3 from Creality, of course. And these are all available for pre order right now. All right, enough of our stuff. What is going on in the world right now? So if you're an American, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What I mean to say is that if you're an American, you have probably heard of the law in New York that would require someone to undergo a background check if they want to buy a 3D printer. Let's just let that sink in for a minute. Okay, that's enough. Uh, this seems very strange coming from a uh, European perspective, but I expect this also seems quite strange for Americans too. This is all due to the possibility of ghost guns. And these are guns that are printed or made in another way that would make them virtually untraceable. First up, I don't know jack about guns, US law or gun culture in the US. So I'm not gonna say anything in that regard, but wouldn't it make a better gun if you're using like a lathe or a CNC? And why wasn't that regulated years ago? But I bring this up because there is already a similar law that has been passed and in effect in California that prohibits anyone from buying a printer that can print gun parts unless they are a registered firearms manufacturer. Um, and yeah, this has been in effect since January 1st. This one actually does include CNCs in the legislation. Uh, but like in New York, the kind of printer specified in the bill is very vague. I'm not sure how to define a, a printer that can print guns. Um, I'm I'm not going to say anything more about this. This just seems very, very strange to me. Let us know what you think in the comments. Okay, something happier. Uh, Orca Slicer version 2 is here. Yay! So we now have scarf seam joints, which is great. This is a wonderful way of hiding seam lines in your 3D print. And if you're unfamiliar with this, then you can check out teaching text video. I'll put a link right here. We also have small area flow compensation. So this is reducing over extrusion in small areas like corners. You might've noticed when you're printing a corner and the printhead is moving back and forth really, really quickly, there is some over extrusion on the edges and this really can't be helped by changing your pressure advanced settings. This will help though, which is really cool. There are also a bunch of other features which you can read about and I am putting the link down below as well. I have been putting off getting Orca Slicer for a while. I've been wanting to get it for such a long time, but the process of changing uh, profiles from all of my printers that are running Pusher Slicer to another slicer seems a bit daunting to me, but I downloaded it and I'm gonna give it a shot and we'll see what happens. Okay, what is up next? Ah, so the airless basketball. So since Wilson came out with their 3D printed airless basketball uh, a couple of months ago, you might have noticed that there's a myriad of designs and videos online for printing your own basketball, your own airless basketball. Uh, we have not done this because a couple of years ago, we already did a bouncy ball video and you can check out the link. It's actually over here in the corner, but it turns out the best material to use is one with high rigidity like PLA. Unfortunately, PLA is not the most impact resistant material out there, so we didn't get that much repeat use out of it. Uh, but what do you guys think? Have you seen all of the videos and printed your own version as well? I'd really like to see which filament does best. So let us know down in the comments below. Next up is the Cheeto Box update. And if you're like me and you still use Cheeto Box for a lot of your resin prints, then we have some news for you. They have their new Cheeto Box Basic 2.0 version just released. And wow, it's a breath of fresh air. That's a nice UI. 
Filament slicers get all of the news with their features. It is rare that we get one for a resin slicer, but this is interesting. I just started using this, so I'm not gonna give a final review on it yet, but they do have some really cool things. The developers have incorporated some of the features that were on the pro and paid version into this new free version, such as collision detection, suspend detection, island detection, and cavity detection. There is also a little library of standard parts and the Resin Material Alliance. Standard parts are exactly what they sound like. You can generate commonly used shapes and test models, and the Resin Alliance allows you to easily find pre-configured profiles for tons of resin on specific printers. Okay, that about does it for this month. If you think there is a story that we should cover in our next community news update, then let us know in the comments below. We'll be back with a short video on the weekend, but if you can't wait until then, you can join our Discord server. The link is down below in the description, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.